fold it over, all that is a stuff one. Welcome back. Another beautiful day. We've had a lot of rain this week so it's been hard to get out and uh, sort of film stuff but uh, out today, glorious day, a little bit damp but still beautiful. Um, out to do some birria tacos, hopefully I'm saying that right. Um, I did a couple of videos recently and they look absolutely beautiful so I just had to do it. Got loads of dried chilies at home so I've brought them out today and yeah we're gonna do this kind of stewed meat taco, fried taco beautiful looking thing. Um, so yeah, fire is going now, so I've just got to prep the first things, which is making the marinade for the meat, and that's going to do the chilies first. To start off here I've got a couple of chipotle peppers dried, I've got um, an ancho here, and guillo maybe is the pronunciation, I'm not too sure. None of these are particularly hot, um, but they have so much flavour. I love anchos myself. So I'm just going to take off like the stalky bits. And because the seeds from dried chilli don't have the nicest texture in food, I'm just going to uh, open them up and get the seeds out. Now while them chilies soak away, just need to get a few cloves out. Probably do three. Now they've had a chance to soak and put in the rehydrated chilies into the pestle and mortar. Some garlic and a bit of salt as an abrasive. And this time just give that a good mash. until we've got a nice paste.
I've got some brisket here, you want some nice kind of stewing type beef and I'm just going to slice it and dice it obviously the smaller you dice it the uh, quicker it will cook down for shredding but uh, you want some size to it into our beef. I'm going to put our chili and garlic mix. Add some vinegar in here. Some paprika. And the last of my Mexican oregano. And I'm just going to mix that all in, looking beautiful. Cover it over and leave it for a bit before we start. And the last thing to prep here is the onion. And this going to be diced up Alright, so first off we're going in with our onion. I'm just going to soften that a little. Add in a few cumin seeds as well. Now we go in with that marinated meat. Getting a lot of that chilli paste in there too. Look at colours. Put the water that the chilli's rehydrated in. Some tomatoes. couple of bay leaves, a little bit of stock, a stick of cinnamon. Give that a good mix. keep the lid on too. For now we want to keep that liquid in there. That's the birria stew as it's uh, known on the go. And you can have it just like that, maybe with extras, but um, we're doing the birria tacos. Um, so I'm not gonna start them just yet, so I'm gonna wait an hour or two, and then we're gonna start making our tortillas from scratch. I've got a new tortilla press, and um, we'll get them prepped for when this is ready to shred the meat, and then we go on with that kind of building and cooking process.
I have some flour here for my tortillas. I'm just going to put in a bit of oil. And some water I've just boiled. And it's got a bit of debris in it. Ouch. I'm just going to mix that with a spoon because it's quite hot and then I'm going to give it a quick knead and then leave it for maybe 15 minutes. Our uh, beef's coming along nicely and the sauce is just kind of reducing down at the moment. It's cool enough to come together now. Just make sure I've got everything out of the bowl. And I'll just form that into a ball. Cover it, leave it 15 minutes or so before I press them. Just reducing this a bit now and you can see the lovely oils that we need all settling on the surface. So this is my tortilla press. This is the arm that pushes down and there's the two sides got uh, greaseproof paper, there's one of our balls, another bit of paper, and lots of pressure. Now what I like to do is in my <laughs> one use of this, you spin it round a couple of times because the pressure is not going to be completely even. There we go. Perfect. This is my new griddle we'll be using for frying the tacos. Lightly oiled the griddle there. And I'm going on with the first tortilla. I'm going to pull out the bits of beef now to shred them already kind of falling apart really, which is good, that's what we want. See them oils on the top of the uh, sauce, we're going to need that in a moment. Now this beef should pretty much, there we go, look at that, gorgeous. Easier with two forks, <laughs> but Pretty cooked to perfection, I'd say. So we're just shredding that up so it goes nicely in our tacos. Oh God, smell it. <laughs> Still a nice little bit of fat there. You can obviously trim that off, but you want it to go into your sauce. Oh. <laughs> right, I'm having a bit. I don't care. Now this could be a little tricky to get on film, but what I'm going to do is put my tortilla in the oils at the top of the sauce there. A little hot. Just let that drain off a bit. And that's going to go on my hot griddle. And with a quick bit of camera work, <laughs> I'm just going to give it a quick flip. Put on some cheese. Put on some of that lovely meat. Let's 
do things properly here. Yeah? <laughs> Bit of coriander or cilantro to some of you. Give it a fold over. And I don't think that needs any more. Right, one more time, we've dipped. It's just to warm up that side really. Flip it. Cheese it. Meat. Stuff it. <laughs> and coriander. Fold it over. All that is a stuffed one. If you need to, you can flip it. So this is quite a hot griddle, so we're doing all right here. Now just a little extra coriander for sprinkling. Don't they look great? Just amazing looking things. We've got some of our sauce for dipping here. And I'm going to have to go for it, aren't I? Oh yes. Nice crisp on the outside. All that gooey cheese in there, tender meat. Gonna have a squeeze of this lime. Mmm. Wow. As you can see, I've uh, taken the shirt off. It was pretty hot. But, uh, I'm having a good dip here. Mm. Cast iron is the way to go for the griddle for these. I tried it out at home and just used a normal non-stick pan. Nowhere as good. Oh. Mm. Absolutely amazing. Wish I knew about these sooner. <laughs> This is the second time in one week, <laughs> and I think I'm going to be doing them a lot more. It takes time, but it's not too hard, really. sun's really come out now. They are simply amazing. Absolutely amazing. I love them. I'm going to be doing a lot of them in future. <laughs> really, really nice. Um, I was going to do this video as a silent one, just a short silent one, but I know how good they are and I wanted to tell you how good they are. All them chilies, they're not really hot chilies and you cook it so long, two hours, maybe a bit more, that it cooks a lot of that heat out. Um, and you're just left with that flavour of all them dried and smoked chilies. Oh, amazing. <laughs> well, I've got some to take home with me, so that's good. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, and I'll uh, see you again very soon. Goodbye.